he how he leans to the left or leans to the right. We're, they're looking at everything. This is this is why boxing's so strange, and it's like the furthest from being black and white as you could get. Because before the fight with Francis Ngannou, right? I said I don't know if Francis Ngannou beats Johnny Fisher, mm. and then and then yeah. after the fight, it's like God, what a stupid comment. Yeah. I still believe that. <laughs> I honestly still stick by that. I still. I'm not. I'm not saying oh he hasn't elevated what I thought of him massively. I still don't know whether he beats Johnny Fish. So, so in terms of the people he's actually being linked with, Johnny Joshua, it does everyone around this table think that he is a legitimate now <laughs> you could get because before the fight with Francis Ngannou, right? I said I don't know if Francis Ngannou beats Johnny Fisher, mm. and then and then yeah. after the fight, it's like God, what a stupid comment. Yeah, I still believe that. Mm. I honestly still stick by that. I still, I'm not, I'm not saying oh he hasn't elevated what I thought of him massively. I still don't know whether he beats Johnny Fisher. So, so in terms of the people he's actually being linked with, Anthony Joshua, DeAndre Wilder. Wow, wow. What's going on, people? It's Amanda YB, and it's back once again. This is shocking, people. Obviously, True Geordie. It's a bit of a clickbait one, but either way, end of the day, man. True Geordie brought this Goof Troop on. I don't know what the guy's name is, but let's assume it's something along the lines of Goof Troop, 100%. True Geordie associated himself with some Goof Troop Donny. Could you hear that there? Fair play, listen, man. We all know the YB gets things wrong, right? If I get things wrong, my hands do this. In the air, I'm wrong. I was bugging. Yeah? But to sit there, we've just seen... Francis Ngannou's bottom line beat Tyson Fury. Look at Fury's reaction. Look at John Fury's reaction. Fury knew he lost that fight. He wasn't saying, yeah, I beat it. He, he was like, yes, yeah, I'm grateful for the win. I've never genuinely seen Fury so kind of subdued. Even after the, the Wilder draw in the first fight, he was more up for it. Yeah, I won that fight. I won, I won. The Ngannou fight that he actually won, didn't draw in, he knew he lost. He was kind of like, yeah, grateful to Nick. A fight, right? So Tyson Fury fights a debutant, Francis Anuaki, Francis Promethean Engineer in Ghanu. Gets put down. And a lot of people, myself included, believe he lost the fight. I mean, even a judge had it a bit of draw. That shows you how crazy it is. So let's assume for a second Fury arguably lost to a debutant in Promethean Anuaki, Francis in Ghanu. That's just a fact now. And, like I said, it's one thing to be wrong before the fight. The man said, yeah, before the fight, I thought Ngannou would get beat by Johnny Fisher. Fine. I may have, I mean, I wouldn't have gone that far, but I may have even agreed with you at that point before the fight. We all saw the footage. We all thought it was a joke. I mean, we certainly thought Fury was going to steamroll him. Too leaky. I was certain that Ngannou's hands were going to end up around his ankles and he was going to be blowing and get punched up. Either way, to believe... Johnny Fisher. Johnny the Romford Bull Fisher. Would beat Ngannou before the fight is one thing. But to then double down after watching what we saw. And say I still don't know if Francis Ngannou beats Johnny Fisher. This is the problem with Essex Goof Troop people. I guarantee you this Donny here. No, 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 I'm not knocking him. Someone got to be from Essex, right? I guarantee this... Goof troop here from Essex somewhere. This is what you call patriotism. This guy is patriotic to Essex. Johnny Fisher ain't beat none. I ain't even sure Johnny Fisher can beat his meat. The only thing Johnny Fisher can beat is the local Chinese. Fair play to him. Fair, fair play for sure. Can Johnny Fisher beat the local Chinese? Yes. That's the only thing he'd be beating though. Factually wise. Ngannou just beat Tyson. Wait a minute. Ty Wait a minute. Ngannou beats Tyson Fury. Johnny Fisher beats the local Chinese meal and you're saying that I still don't know if Ngannou beats Johnny Fisher where they find these guys at where they find them at genuinely True Geordie True Geordie where you find this do that I need to know obviously from the back house from the back house of nowhere in Essex somewhere yeah that's where they find this guy I think they find I think I think they dug this guy up from the from the uh, the Essex boys from Lam Rover I think they found this guy in the back of the the back of the boot of the Essex boys Lam Rover they must have Bottom line. Oh, yeah, yeah. Johnny Johnny Fisher. Well, who Johnny Fisher beat? Wait a minute. Francis Ngannou beats Tyson Fury and knocks him down. Who here thinks Johnny Fisher would knock Tyson Fury down? Who here thinks Johnny Fisher, 
In fact, who do you think Johnny Fisher would, would win a round against Tyson Fury? Never mind get a draw after 10 rounds on one of the judges' scorecards. Legitimately, yeah. All jokes aside, in a 10-round fight, I reckon, at a push, genuinely, I'd have to push for this. At a push, I'd give Johnny Fisher one round against Fury out of 10. Generously speaking, respectfully, respectfully, I'd give Johnny Fisher one round against Fury. And Garnu wins five or six, at least, and scores a knockdown. And you're saying, oh, I still don't know if... And this is the problem with the narrative. The narrative is, oh, well, Fury wasn't trained right. I don't care how Fury was trained. Fury could not train and still only lose one or two rounds against Johnny Fisher in my book. And you're talking about Nganu. I'm not sure if Nganu can beat Johnny Fisher. And I'm all for some patriotism. I mean, it's not my shtick, but fair play to it. People who are patriotic to their team or whatever, go for it, but come on now. To double, to, of, all the, of all the hills you have to die on, of all the hills to die on, of all the bits to double down on, this cat here want to double down on Johnny Fisher beating Francis Ngannou after what we saw. Do you know what I'm saying? I, I can't even lie. I don't even like the Scooby Doo voice. I don't even like doing it. I don't. But some things I just hear, it has to. It, 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 it comes out of me. Oh yeah, Judge. I watched Tyson. I watched after watching Tyson Fury versus Ngannou. I'm not sure that Ngannou beats Johnny Fisher. Get this guy out of here. These are the. That's the problem. You see, a lot of these cats here, they're crossover cats. A lot of these cats on these different TV shows, they're crossover cats, meaning. Like Simon Jordan to some extent. Simon Jordan, he'll talk boxing, he'll talk basketball, he'll talk golf, he'll talk every sport. Master, jack of all trades, master of zilch. That's what one, I guarantee this cat here is a football head, for sure. I guarantee this cat here is one of them Essex football heads. One of them. I don't know, what's, give me, I don't know, I don't, I don't follow football. What's, what's Essex? Is Essex West Ham? I don't know. Whatever team Essex is, yeah, this guy will be one of them Essex West Ham followers. And... You know what I'm saying? Oh, Romford Bull, Romford Bull. The Romford Bull couldn't knock a wank out, all due respect, when it comes to Ngannou. Ngannou would pluck. Romford Bull, yeah, he's sturdy, right? He's sturdy. But you best believe, Ngannou would do ungodly things to the Romford Bull. Yeah, 100%. Ngannou would turn the Romford Bull into the Romford Twink. Or to the, into the... What was it called? Or you into the Romford bomb? Yeah, fact. Francis Ngannou would turn Johnny the Romford Bull Fisher into the Romford bottom. He'd make a bottom out of him. He'd make a twink out of him. Yeah, the only thing that would be getting bulled. In fact, I lie. Yeah, it would be Johnny Romford Bulled Fisher because he'd get bulled. Francis Ngannou would be a bull thing to Fisher. He'd make a bull out, or he'd make it, yeah, he'd bull him, for sure, yeah? And for you, you man who don't know, a bull is an individual, a male, usually has alpha characteristics, who's brought in to service an MOT, certain man's misses, yeah? That's what bulls are. Certain men who don't handle their business in the bedroom require services of bulls, Yeah? They're almost guaranteed to be over six foot, almost guaranteed to be packing at least eight inches in their pants. That's a bull. Yeah? You get on the blow, eh? I've got some problems with the missus. The missus ain't doing the washing up. The missus ain't cooking dinner. And you, that's what you do. You pick the phone up. Listen, if your missus ain't cooking dinner, if your missus ain't doing things right at home, you have to call a bull in. That's how, That's normally the procedure. Yeah, the bull comes in, gives her what she needs, gives her the full MOT, gives her the full service, and she's ready to go again. The next day after being bulled, she'd be doing the washing up, she'd be doing the cooking, she'd be doing the cleaning, all her bits be pat all your bits be panned. Yeah? And that's what would happen. If Ngarnu fought for Johnny Fisher, yeah. Jo I mean Johnny Fisher. He you, you know he ain't doing no washing up. Johnny Fisher ain't washing up. <laughs> Come on. Johnny Fisher ain't doing no washing and cooking. But you he eating Chinese. But you guarantee. Yeah? If if Francis Ngarnu was to fight Johnny Fisher, <laughs> come on now. On that Sunday morning, Johnny Fisher wouldn't be getting up to go for a brunch at the Chinese. He'd be getting up to put the washing on. Because you best believe 
Ngannou would make a whole homely hoe. Yeah, Ngannou would make a whole homely, big, big 240 pound homely hoe at that. Make a hoe out of dude. That's what I believe. Francis Ngannou would make a whole homely hoe out of Johnny Fisher. He'd turn him into, to be quite frank, he'd turn him into Johnny Fish Nets. Yeah, on his Oscar De La Hoya tip. That's what he'd do. Johnny Fishnets is what he'd be known after Ingarnu finished with him. And you best believe in that on that Sunday morning. 100%. On that Sunday morning, Johnny Fishnets would have his fishnets on. He'd have his little sexy maid outfit on. And he'd be cooking, he'd be cleaning, and he'd be washing the dishes. The whole lot. That's what he'd be doing. Facts. About, I'm not sure... John, I'm not sure in Garnu beats in Johnny Fisher. <laughs> where they find this? I need to know. True Geordie, where you find this guy from? Genuine. No, listen, we can all have banter and that. Listen, wait, where you find this guy? Wait, where do you find him? Come on. Where do you find him? I'm not even sure. G genuinely, Ngannou is, is a top three heavyweight right now. He beat Fury, so forget about Fury. Ngannou has, at the very worst, Ngannou and Fury is a 50 50 in the rematch, right? How many, how many boxes? Genuinely, can you put above Ngannou right now? Who have we got? Maybe Zhang. I've got Zhang. Maybe Fury. Maybe AJ. It's not Wilder, that's for sure. <laughs> that's what we know for a fact. Who else is there? That's it. Ngannou is categorically a top three to five heavyweight. And you're talking about Johnny not even ranked Fisher. Who who Johnny Fisher beat? Who Johnny Fisher beat to, tell, to imply that he's going to do something with Ngannou? I find it, sorry, I find it disrespectful. I can be real with you. I don't know where they found this guy from, but wherever where they found it, they, listen, I don't know where they found this guy from, but wherever they found him from, they need to take his disrespectful half an ass back there. Yeah. It was, the level of this was disrespectful, and the fact that no one checked him as well. You got all these men posted up here. Look, there's a few men here, look. One Donnie here, posted up. There's another Donnie, there's a few, 100%, look, there's a few, look, another Donnie here, posted up. Not one of these men checked him. Not one. I like True Geordie, but come on. Not what, look at all these Knicks here. All these Knicks sitting there listening to this. For me, it's a disrespect to the race right now. If I heard them bars, I'd have to, I'd have to say something. I'd have to check him. I'd say, hey, yo, listen. I know you're from Essex, but come on now, bro. We can't be doing that on live TV. You know what I'm saying? We want them for me. That's how, that's how I feel. You know what I mean? I'm, I'm, listen, I'm all, for me. I'm all for Essex. I'm all for the Essex boys. I love the films, what they're called. I love Rise of the Foot Soldier. I love them. Yeah, I love them films. I watched all of them. Some of the best cheesy kind of knockoff UK films going. Yeah? Rise of the Foot Soldier is some of the best cheesy knockoff UTV, UK TV movies going. But come on now. I don't care how much Rise of the Foot Soldier you watched. Not on what, not on any planet would a Romford Bull be doing nothing with Ngannou. Yeah, look at this guy, come on. And you man sat there and just took it like it was facts. Like it had any legs in the game. True Geordie sat there and listened to this. Where does Scooby do that? Is it maybe it's just me? I believe it's it's the, it's a man's obligation after hearing such falsery and falsehoods to Scooby Doo him. I just Scooby Doo this dude's ass so hard you wouldn't have believed it. Literally, uh, as them bars came out of his mouth, I don't care what setup it is. Oh, but why be it's True Geordie's million dollar setup? I don't care what setup it is. Halfway through my man speaking, all you would have heard was. <laughs> That's what you'd have heard, 100%. I'd have dropped it. I'd have dropped the Scooby right in there. Oops. Oh, why be you supposed to speak one at a time? I don't care what you're supposed to do. Yeah? I'm all for being respectful, but you said something that was disrespectful to the umpteenth degree. The ancestors felt that one. Johnny Fish. I'm not sure when Garnu can do something with Johnny Fisher. Get this guy out of here. Red card. I don't want to see him again. Yeah? Five years suspension. Never mind five game. Five years suspension. Sit him down somewhere. Genuinely, this cat. I, I ain't, listen. I ain't judging. I ain't knocking him. He's probably a nice dude. Yeah, he's probably a nice corny Essex dude. As far as they go, I like Essex dudes. Are they nice? They corny. Whatever. Yeah. Look at him. No doubt, this cat here is a nice corny run of the mill Essex cat. Take his ass back there. That's what he needed. From from what I heard, he need to go back there quick, quick as well. He don't need to be in the video no more, that's for sure. Talk about boxing. That's what he don't need to be doing. You know what I'm saying? Wherever this guy is, I don't know where he's from, but wherever he's from, take him back there. Please, 100%. Wherever he's from, True Geordie, get this guy, Uber Lux. This cat, yeah, after them bars, the production should have ended, and they should have put this cat in an Uber, uh, Uber Lux there and then. Yeah, don't worry about it, bud. Yeah, 
I'm sure <laughs> he'll be saying, oh, I thought the podcast was two hours. Nah, nah, bro, it's 20 minutes now because you deaded it off 100%. You in, you in Uber Lux back to Essex for you for on them bars. That's how I genuinely, I, feel, I, I just feel that way. I feel that was wrong. Yeah, I feel wronged after hearing that. Anyway, let me know your thoughts. Smash the like button, subscribe, and like off the bell 100%. No doubt about it.